you guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Madison Hill and it is time for another pop off with Madison. I know you're getting to see my face a lot this week and I hope it's a good thing. If not, just keep it to yourself. Don't tell me because I don't want to know. For today's pop off, we are going to talk about the one and only Kim Kardashian and Kanye West and the state of their marriage because there are some serious contradicting reports out there right now. On one hand, we have a report where Kanye is allegedly begging Kim not to divorce him and he's also suggesting that they have an open marriage. We also have people thinking that Kanye shaded Kim earlier this week with one of his recent tweets. And then we have another report from Entertainment Tonight saying that everything's peachy keen. As you can see, it is a whole situation and a half, which is exactly why I wanted to go ahead and have today's pop off. That way we could actually sit down, talk it all out and decipher what the heck we actually think is going on with Kim and Kanye. So you know how this works. Let's kick it off unwrapping the facts. Okay, so you guys know that Kanye West has kind of been going through it lately. From him going off on Twitter, to him continuing to run for president, even though he did get caught showing false polling numbers this week. It's no secret that Kanye is going through something and it has definitely been taking a toll on his marriage. We all remember the pictures that surfaced of Kim crying in the car while having a discussion with Kanye while they were in Jackson Hole, Wyoming. Plus, there was also this report from Us Weekly where a source came forward and said that Kim was contacting divorce lawyers to potentially end her marriage to Kanye. And now, I'm sorry to report that all of the craziness has not stopped because we have a new report from the National Enquirer about the lengths that Kanye is going to save his marriage. They're a bit creative. So this Kim and Kanye source says that Kanye does not want to lose his wife and kids and that he is begging Kim not to end their marriage. The source said, quote, Kanye does not want to lose his wife and his kids, even though he'd be just fine putting the rest of the Kardashians in his rear view mirror. Not too surprising. Now, in order to keep Kanye's worst divorce nightmare from happening, this source claims that Kanye Kanye has suggested to Kim that they have an open marriage. The source said that Kanye is, quote, crazy enough to believe she'll stay if he offers her the chance to be with other guys. Now, as of no surprise, the source claims that Kim was not here for an open marriage and that she was actually, quote, horrified by Kanye's offer. Now, speaking of Kim being horrified, I imagine that's how she felt earlier this week when Kanye sent out this tweet about people not wanting him to run for president. Kanye wrote, quote, people tried to talk me out of running for president. Never let weak, controlling people kill your spirit. Of course, when people saw that, they automatically thought that Kanye was talking about his wife, Kim, because let's be real, she hasn't exactly been the most supportive of his presidential run, understandably so. In fact, earlier this week, she even posted on her Instagram reminding people to vote, and she made no mention of Kanye at all. And honestly, in fact, since we're here, let me just remind you all to vote, vote, vote. Okay, moving on. Now, I did tell you guys that there were contradicting reports. We have that National Enquirer report about Kanye begging Kim not to leave him and the open marriage. Plus, we have people thinking that he shaded her on Twitter. We also have Kim not supporting his presidential run publicly. However, what's interesting though is that we have this report from Entertainment Tonight where a source is saying that everything between Kim and Kanye is actually going okay. This Entertainment Tonight source said that Kim and Kanye are in a quote, great place right now. In fact, Kim also shared photos of a recent family trip to Colorado on her Instagram. The source went on to say that Kim and Kanye have been trying to spend a lot of time together. They've been trying to spend time with their kids and they They've also been trying to spend time in places that are a little more calm, a little more quiet, like Colorado. That way they can be away from fans and from paparazzi. This ET source ended their insider info saying, quote, the couple knows they have things to work on, but they're putting in the effort all while busy with their own work and continuing to grow their brands. Because we all know that is the number one priority, even though it shouldn't be. I know this is a lot for you guys to digest, a lot of different information coming at you, which is exactly why it is time to discuss, sift through everything and pop off the first you know how this goes, I need a shambong. All right, first up, let's talk about this report where Kanye is allegedly asking Kim to be in an open marriage. Now with any National Enquirer report, I believe there's always some truth and some lie. Now with this report, here's where I think the truth is. I do think that Kanye has begged Kim not to divorce him. I do think his worst nightmare is a divorce and losing his children. I also think that Kanye could care less about the rest of the Kardashian family. I truly think he would be happy living in Colorado, living in Wyoming, 
Wyoming, living in a small town, making music, and just having Kim and his kids and nobody else. Now, as far as where I think the lie is, I truly in my gut do not believe that Kanye asked him to be in an open marriage. I don't know what it is. I feel like Kanye actually kind of comes across as a little bit of a jealous guy. In one of his recent rants, he did actually accuse Kim of potentially cheating on him with Meek Mill, and he was very upset about it. So I really don't think that Kanye has it in him to be in an open relationship. Even if he does think it would save his marriage, I just really don't see Kanye being down for that sort of thing. And obviously this source even said that Kim was horrified by the suggestion, and I do believe that. I don't think that Kim could navigate having an open marriage. I don't think society is quite evolved enough to accept such a high profile celebrity couple having an open marriage. And hey, that might be the problem with society. Hello, throuples are becoming more and more common. That's something that we all need to become more and more accustomed to seeing. But I don't think society is quite there yet, which is why I don't think that Kim would willingly participate in an open marriage. And again, I don't think that Kanye would ask her to do so. So that part of the report, I don't believe is true. But all the other things about Kanye just wanting to be with his wife and kids and forget everybody else, that I wholeheartedly believe. Now, having said that, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I do believe this Entertainment Tonight source when they say that Kim and Kanye know they have things that they need to work on in their relationship. I think this whole presidential campaign has really, really caused a major divide between these two. Kim has not publicly endorsed it or honestly publicly acknowledged it at all. And obviously with Kanye tweeting things like saying people who tried to stop him are weak and controlling, I imagine that's definitely going to cause some issues. But I'm hopeful that they can overcome them because honestly, at the end of the day, when there's children involved, I always hope that two people can work it out. But if they can't and what's best for everyone involved is a divorce, then ultimately that's what needs to happen between Kim and Kanye. So to kind of sum things up right now, I think Kim and Kanye have a lot of work to do. I don't think they are out of the trouble in paradise woods yet, but I'm hopeful that they can get there and I'm hopeful they can work it out because honestly, I really don't want to see these two go their separate ways, but that's just me. And now I'm ready to hear what you think, you guys. Let out your thoughts and feels on what you think is going on with Kim and Kanye. What do you think about all these contradicting reports? What do you think their state of their marriage is? What do you think their future holds? Just let it all out down below while you're at it. If you could please give this video a thumbs up, please make sure you hit that subscribe button and don't forget that notification bell. If you could also give me a follow on Instagram, I would really appreciate it. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!